that have destroyed the ones from the north, south, east, and west, so that the whole thing can go in this slump. And I meant that if we continue in this manner, other people, that's indirectly, other people will hijack it from us. In other words, the mobs will hijack it. So let's now preach the message of our PVCs and make sure. So when I, I, I didn't expatiate, but what I meant was that celebrities and social influencers, social media influencers, should um, charge their, their um, followers to show their PVCs, get ready, let's do it. Let's move together. So pretty much that was what I meant. I, I never for a second um, insinuate, insinuated that the, it should be regulated or anything. No, no, at all. I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm sorry. Also, they, they felt pretty bad. I called them children. Um, so what I meant was when I went through some of the posts, I would go to the, the people who actually sent it and the comments. And I just found out that some of them were youngsters. And I'm like, and they were cussing. So I, I'm like, okay, this is not the Nigeria that we are hoping to have. We want to have the change. It, and they're not calling for the change of the government. Absolutely. Uh, absolutely. Youth, That's why the, the, the video itself. coming from you, who is uh, also a young youth, because that's what the last time I checked, you're actually 44. That means you're still part of the youth. But, you know, we still have to talk about what you had said and even your explanation right now concerning what you're saying, the right to protest. You're saying that the Nigerian youth should not protest, but wait until after four years before they make their opinions heard? Is that what you're saying, Devin? No, Let's clarify protest. that quickly before no. we move along. You have the right, you have the right constitutionally, you have the right to protest. No, I never insinuated that. What I was saying was that I was I was encouraging, or rather, because I was very emotional, and I was quite upset. You know, I was saying all those who can influence this change. Whilst we are doing this, we should also be sending another narrative, which is we can win this by way of our election. We can, we can get a seat at the table. We can now have our budget and the look at we can influence the youth because the monsters didn't understand I was a peaceful protest. If we now emphasize and put so much on vocational education, I put so much in educating them, put so much in understanding who we are as a people, I think it will help. So that was what I, I, I meant, you know, that was what I meant. And I totally apologize if it came out the other way, the wrong way. And yes, as a youth, I totally stand for the rights of the youth. I totally stand for what the youth stands for. Now I'm really excited that you came on this interview because there's a lot of clarifications that you have made so far. But still talking about clarifications, there was something you said about, you know, the government at the center and the fact that the states don't have as much power as they're supposed to do. Um, are you calling for restructuring, Desmond, as we get ready to wrap up this conversation? Thank you very much. Now, this is part of what the narrative I was talking about. And I'm hoping, that I was hoping, that whilst we were talking about the incidents that happened, which the those that influence social media space, we should also be talking about okay, wait a minute. We should encourage the, the regions to grow. We should start having true federalism. And yes, which is one of the reasons I came into government because I believe strongly in true federalism. I want because I feel there's so much concentration of power at the center. And with that happening, we ask, who ordered the army? Who ordered the police? Who ordered this? I believe we should start having state police. We should start having, you know, equipping the regions. Let every region begin to grow and grow the way they want to and decide how they want to go, you know? And then the center will just make sure that things are going well. That was what, um, I was hoping, you know, to, when I pushed all that out. But right. I, I totally want to again apologize for 
Well, um, this on. one, I don't know, but there's something off about your audio. We're really struggling. I don't know if there's a fan around you there, but it's really interfering with, uh, you know, we get in clarity from all that you're saying. But as we wrap up this conversation, uh, Desmond, the panel of inquiry that has been set up by the Lagos State government, let's talk about how much support the Lagos State House of Assembly will be giving to not just the government now, but also the victims of police brutality to ensure that justice is served? Wrap up in about 30 seconds or less, if you can. Okay, real quickly, I, I am not here to speak on behalf of the Assembly. I just came to clarify what's going on. But today we had the stakeholders meeting. The one I had in Surulere, it happened in all... Um, um, state constituencies in Lagos State, organized by the State House of Assembly. Issues of police brutality came up. We agreed that everybody, who, even if you were, someone was shot by a of stray bullets, put down your name, and I, I promised that we were going to work it through and make sure it got to the judicial panel that was holding. So we are, the, the Assembly is totally unequivocally in support of the youth protest. In support of the protest and not in support of uh, regulating social media. Desmond Elliott, thank you for joining me tonight. And for the latest in the world of business, uh, let's now cross live to Lagos where Bosa Nomofaye is standing. Good and wonderful people, welcome back again to my YouTube channel. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening, depends on the time you guys are watching me from. How is everyone doing? I hope you guys are doing great. I beg if today may be the very first time we really come across this video, or you've already watched me, you do so much. I beg you to be able to bless you for me, Jesus, Jesus the location of the So, my new subscriber, I see you all, and welcome to this great family. To my new subscriber, God bless you for being a plus and a supporter of this channel. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Amen. It's all a about Desmond Elliott, what he said on the about the social media and how they are going to look into it. So he's here to apologize, to say he's sorry for what he said and he never knew that the video would go viral. So I just decided to bring it to your notice that Desmond Elliott have already apologized. So I also let me bring it out for my subscribers to watch for them to know that to air is human and to forgive is divine so god bless you all see you in my new, new video choose everyone bye everyone